Oh, hello. Just doing a little light reading. But I guess I can put this down because it looks like my guest for today's video is here. It's going to be Adam Kless, VP of Clinical Ops right here at Avant Healthcare Professionals. And we're going to be talking about the similarities and differences between working internationally as a nurse and working in the U.S. Plus, we're going to be talking about what we do, what Avant Healthcare Professionals does to prepare nurses just like you to come and work in the U.S. You are listening to Healthcare Heartbeat, brought to you by Avant Healthcare Professionals. Welcome to the Avant Healthcare Professionals studio. My name is Ross Erosian. I am your host today. And, uh, you know, if you don't know what Avant Healthcare Professionals does, let me give you the really, really quick summary, okay? We work with international healthcare professionals to, who want to work in the United States. And um, that's a very uh, short summary, but man, is it a amazing but involved process, right? We really love doing it. We've been doing it for over 20 years. And one thing that we've seen throughout the years is uh, we've learned there are a lot of similarities and obviously a lot of differences between being a nurse uh, internationally outside of the U.S., and here in the US. So today, that's what we're talking about, the similarities and differences. And to really do the heavy lifting on this topic, I'm joined by Adam Kless, Vice President of Clinical Operations. Hey, Adam. Hi. Thanks for uh, taking the time. Absolutely. Joining us. Happy to be here. This is this is like your day in, day out type of thing, right? Pretty I much, mean, yeah. 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 Yeah, this is- Focusing what you, on similarities and differences. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you've been here for about five years, mm -hmm. you said? Five and a right? half, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as the vice president of clinical ops, what does that mean? What's your day-to-day -day look like? What are the types of projects, the things that you've been working on for the past five years since you've been in Avant? Wow. Well, um, when you work with as many people as we do, no two days are the same. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we really focus on helping optimize uh, practice for our nurses because, as you said, there are some things that are universal for us as nurses around the world. But the U.S. is a complicated system, <laughs> and we have a lot of rules, a lot of regulations, and a lot of technology. So we spend a lot of time helping to bridge those gaps for our nurses. And that's what we're going to be spending our time on today is what those similarities are. We've kind of picked out uh, the top three similarities, top three differences. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more than that. Yes. But, but Adam and I sat down and kind of like whittled it down to three, right? So we could talk the, with the, uh, about those with you. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about how we work with Avant nurses, how we work with nurses just like you who want to come to the U.S. and what we do to kind of help bridge that gap, mm -hmm. right? Between the skills that you know, the skills you're familiar with, the things that, that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, and maybe the things that are totally mm -hmm. new, right, that you've never dealt with or, or worked with or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So let's start with similarities, okay. okay? The first similarity that we had identified was patient care. Mm -hmm. So how is patient care similar in the U.S. and abroad? Yeah, you know, nursing as a profession, you know, is pretty unified. Um, my little prop that I brought today, this pamphlet that we have. Uh, <laughs> Just some light reading. light reading. So this is a publication that's been around for many, many years. This is the principles and practice of nursing. Um, may this I? is You may. Okay. Um, this is, um, continues to be published by the International Congress of Nursing. And this yeah. is, if no one knew what nursing was, this is where they would go to learn what nursing wow. really is. And the reason I bring this, and you can appreciate the size of it, um, this is what we're using around the world. So this is mm. why it's put out by the International Congress of Nursing. Um, this is where we go. This will, you'll see within this book, um, discussions of what nursing is like around the world, wow. um, different countries, different practices. Um, but, but really, when it comes down to it, what this book is about is about the patient. And the patient is, for us as nurses, is the center of everything we do. It's why we um, are nurses. You know, nurses, we typically have a call to the profession. We just don't wake up one day and say, oh, I'm going to be a nurse. Something happens mm -hmm. in our lives that draws us into the profession because it is a service and it is a call. 
Um, and that's where we focus on the people, the people that trust us to care for them. Um, we're strangers to them. You, uh, you speak very passionately about this. Um, prior to joining Avant, what were you involved? Were you a nurse? Were you involved directly in the industry? <laughs> of course right? I was a nurse. I'm still a nurse. <laughs> I can feel it. Like, and I think, you know, I just want to say this, right? We have so many members of our uh, company that were former nurses. Mm -hmm. And I think that is so incredibly amazing because they've experienced this firsthand. Mm -hmm. You've lived it. Yeah. You've breathed it. You understand uh, those struggles and the day to day. Now, given I know we're talking to, to some of our audience, a good point of our audience that um, are outside of the U.S., but you just hit the nail on the head at the end of the day. What are we talking about here? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's patient care, right? It's 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 trying these people who are sick, who are in pain, mm -hmm. who are um, struggling um, in, in any number of different ways related to their their medical well-being. Right. It's about trying to alleviate that, make mm -hmm. them better. Yeah. Care of humankind. Yeah. yeah. And so that's a universal piece. Um, you know, there's not this, oh, no, this is incredibly different here versus there. That is the mm -hmm. universal mm -hmm. bridge. Yeah. Right. Um, among international and, and U.S. Mm -hmm. nurses. Yeah. So I'm sure I don't think there's much that this book wouldn't cover. Right. <laughs> but Truly, the, right? yes. <laughs> right. But the other thing that we had uh, identified similarities wise, ethical considerations yeah, for sure i have to believe there's probably a lot of chapters in a here lot. about that yes yeah. i mean that at the ethics is what underpins us as a profession you know nursing uh has globally been rated the most trusted profession hmm. um for years and years and years now oh, must have so. just beat out car salesmen used car salesmen uh, huh narrowly yeah. yeah narrowly yeah but you know when I, for me as a nurse when i think about that so when you when you pull the public around the world and you talk about Who's the most trusted profession? We go up against clergy, wow. doctors, pharmacists, teachers, lawyers. That's probably an easy one to beat, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> but but um, but nursing comes that's good company. Number one, right, right. Number one most trusted profession. When you think about that, it has to be that way because. <sighs> People trust us with their lives. They don't, they get into the hospital. They don't know us. We don't know them. Um, but you tell, say, hey, I'm Adam, I'm your nurse. And then all of a sudden there's a sense of calm and a sense yeah. of care and a sense of yeah. you know, understanding. And that's what we do. So, you know, when we talk about being a nurse, um, you can practice at the bedside. You could be like me and practice in healthcare staffing, but you're always a nurse. And I know that our, our audience, uh, nurses out in our audience know that. They, they, we, we feel it, we live it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think about, you know, my own experience, whether it's with, uh, for myself or with loved ones. Yeah. And, you know, if, if you have the unfortunate situation where a loved one's in the hospital, um, you know, yeah, who, who, first question is like, where's, who's the nurse, mm -hmm. right? Like, right. and, and cause the nurse is the person who actually you usually build a, the, a relationship with mm -hmm. in those cases. Right. Um, you know, I had a, a family member who had an unexpected heart attack, mm -hmm. you know, and I, f I flew out and um, I got real close with those nurses for the week, week and a half that I was yeah. out there. Yeah. And they were absolutely essential to his care. I mean, they, 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 it's, and, and this is also where, again, we talked about what's in this book, but what's the, the, how you are nursing where you are is acting ethically and, and responsibly, right? right? To think again for that number one similarity, yeah. the patient care. The underpinning right? of everything we do is ethics. Yeah. Absolutely. And these things are, are kind of intertwined because the third similarity that we had kind of uh, identified is the medical uh, or the medicinal administration mm -hmm. yeah. and how that works. Um, so talk a little bit about that similarity. Well, it's interesting because 
similarity and difference all bundled into one. So, so as nurses globally, um, we do uh, are trusted to administer medications. We're trusted to make sure that we're giving the right medicine. We're trusted that we give it the right way. Um, but we get into differences with the types of medicines we use around the world. So you'll find differences country to country. You'll find differences globally to the U.S. Um, and that's kind of the pivot point for us with education. Hmm. To say, you know, I know that you know how to give medications. I know how you, you know how to give an injection. Hmm. But let's talk yeah. about what you're injecting. And hmm. let's talk about what the rules are in the U.S. and how that might be a little bit different. Okay. And I think that is a fantastic segue as we talk about again this this the medication administration as something that's a little bit of both mm -hmm. same yeah. different yeah. i think that's a great segue for us to now talk about the differences and we're going to do that right after this break are you tired of dealing with staffing shortages in your healthcare facility let avant healthcare professionals help our partnership provides skill-matched, globally educated healthcare professionals who provide positive patient experiences and exemplary clinical quality. In fact, over 90% of our healthcare professionals convert to our clients' full-time staff. Too good to be true? It isn't. Here are just some of our satisfied clients. It's a win. It's a win for us because we were able to, yes, help with you know, our staffing needs, but we were also able to add value to our, our team of nurses that are there. You know, we have a diverse team of, of nurses that are available to take care of patients that speak a different language. It just really add value. Why would you not hire a nurse from Avant? They brought extraordinary heart and soul to our unit and our um, facility. So what are you waiting for? Go to avanthealthcare.com slash podcast or click the link in this episode's description to start the process in solving your staffing problems. Avant Healthcare Professionals. Thanks for coming back. We are talking similarities and differences as it relates to uh, being a international nurse and nursing in the US. If you wanna learn more about Avant Healthcare Professionals and you know, I'm sure I'm a little biased, but the amazing programs that we offer, uh, be sure to go to avanthealthcare.com. You can apply right there. We also have tons of information on our blog and on our website uh, about our program. Okay, so Adam, let's pick this back up. We're now talking okay. differences. Yeah. Difference number one, regulatory bodies. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Hmm. This is like the this is like this was like a biggie. This yeah, one like floated to the top. This is a big one. Okay. It's huge. I mean, the U.S. is the most regulated um, healthcare um, system in the world. I mean, we have CMS, we have Joint Commission, we have state regulations and layers, layers, and layers, and layers, and, layers. layers. and and that that's a big learning curve hmm. for a lot of nurses coming into the U.S. because. We also have on top of that, we have laws. And so there's laws about denying care in emergency departments that people have to learn and understand. And so, you know, believe it or not, there's places where you can deny care. Hmm. Say, hey, you don't got the money, you don't get the care. Yeah. In the US, we're not built that way. Yeah. You know, we, we treat you, we uh, have a, a, a um, a legal requirement to assess to make sure that the person doesn't have a life-threatening condition when they present to our emergency rooms. So it's a different scenario in the U.S. So, I, sure. yeah, again, it's and this is the, the good news here. We're, we're only on difference number one. And you may already be thinking, oof, that's something I have no idea about. Yeah. The good news is uh, we know that, okay? That's why we're here, right? Our programs... Uh, have been designed by this man sitting across from me, but uh, other members of our team who understand um, these differences, the similarities, yeah. the nuances, right? And we've been doing it for over 20 years. Yeah. That's, that's significant. We've learned over time how to really get you uh, prepared yeah. and comfortable and the experience that you need to be a nurse in the US. Getting here is only half the journey. Yes, it's a very, it's, a, it's, the ex, it's an exciting aspect of the journey, but we're bringing you here to build a life, to yeah. build a career. So these are the building blocks 
that that you need. And again, you can learn more about them at avanthealthcare.com. And you know, one thing I'll share with the nurses out in our audience is that to to know that every single nurse that works with Avant in our corporate office has has been in the hospital. We have all been at the bedside. We have all been leaders running units, running facilities. So we That's we awesome. are uniquely positioned to give you exactly what you need and help you to go out and be ready to enter orientation into a US hospital. It's amazing. So Big difference number two, scope of mm, practice. Yeah, All right. yeah. That can be actually overwhelming for some folks coming into the U.S. because in I know that in many, well, I'll say what I've been taught by our international nurses because I didn't it, know much. Learning, learning goes two ways, Oh, right? This yeah. is how we've built and evolved our program. Yeah. We don't just be like, oh, here it is, and this has been the same thing for 20 no, years. Yeah. That doesn't work. No, I learned a lot from our nurses over the years. And, and you know, there's a, there's a, in many countries, there is a strong physician presence at the bedside. Mm -hmm. So nurse and doctor working together. Um, and in the U.S., it's not quite that way. Mm -hmm. So in, in the United States, you know, we teach you that the doctor relies upon us as nurses to make assessments, mm -hmm. to make recommendations, to share with the physician um, the patient's response to the care plan. And so mm -hmm. the doctors will end up making decisions on treatment based upon what we as nurses see, mm -hmm. report, and then what we recommend as well. That seems like that would be exciting, but mm -hmm. also probably maybe a little intimidating. Oh, for sure, for right? sure. But but that's the, the beauty of Avant, is that we will coach you, prep you, and we will give you the opportunity to practice those scenarios of talking to a doctor, making a recommendation at midnight on the phone. You know, so you will have the opportunity to actually know what it's like to be the nurse making a recommendation to a physician about how your patient is responding to care. Yeah, the first time you do that is not going to be when you're in the hospital talking to the doctor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's and why we have our programs here to work with you and train you up because we understand that for some of you, this may be a skill set you've never had to use. Mm -hmm. And as scary as it sounds, you know, we are going to give you a safe space, right? We create a safe space to learn. And while this may sound even scarier, we want you to make mistakes. We want you to make mistakes when you're with your educators here at Avant, and we'll help you learn from those mistakes. So it's a complete safe space, and you're going to learn a ton from these educators. So the big difference, number three, the third one mm -hmm. that we had discussed and now we're sharing with you is healthcare systems and <laughs> payment structures. Wow, yeah. yeah. So, you know, U.S., highly regulated, and... Healthcare is big business in the U.S. So we have in the United States, we have not-for-profit healthcare systems, non-profit healthcare systems, and for-profit healthcare systems, all designed with the mission to care for you know, human life, um, but different in how they're managed. Um, and then you add your insurance companies in. So we have, you know, you have government insurance, Medicare, Medicaid with their own rules. You have private insurance, so Blue Cross, Aetna, Cigna, and they have their rules. So the, the payers at times will be part of what drives the care decisions. And wow. so yeah. they might say, ah, doctor, we're not going to cover that test. Hmm. And then the doctor may have to get on the phone to an insurance company doctor to justify why the doctor wants that test. So that's it's a big shift hmm. from what a lot of our nurses see around the world. Um, Where you're not dealing with that, uh, again, layer. Right? Oh, yeah. That's just not, right. it's, it's non-existent. Right. And then you have the whole idea of, of case management, which is another nursing specialty where nurses become case managers and they help navigate for the patient what their insurance will allow them to have. So for example, um, if you need rehabilitation, hmm. you know, you would have a nurse case manager that would help you navigate that to figure out what you can, um, your insurance will allow and for how long. Medical equipment that you might need at home would go through a nurse case manager to help, you know, the patient get that. So, so resources do end up getting um, allocated differently 
um, in the U.S. under our unique payer systems. I know one thing you've talked about before also, which I think this is as good a time as any to bring up for, for anyone watching or, or listening at home, are the increased opportunities also. Oh, yeah. For when you, when you come here as a nurse, um, I, I said this you know, a moment ago, like we're, we're working with you to build, to, to change your life and build your career and your career may go in a lot of different directions from being a nurse, Certainly, right? Yeah. And that's, is that another kind of, I guess, byproduct of these differences, mm -hmm. right? That there's, there's a lot of different opportunities also. If, if you're yeah. starting as a nurse, your career path may go different different directions. Oh, for sure. I mean, I think, you know, a lot of times what our, our nurses that come from around the world experience is you, you go to the hospital, you well, essentially, what's the lay of the land? What's it like to practice nursing in the U.S.? And every day you learn something new. You learn a little bit more. You interact with the nurse case managers. You interact with the nurse practitioners. You um, interact with nurse leaders. And you really see the array of opportunity there is for a nursing career in the United States. I mean, we've got nurses in the U.S. that work for law firms. Mm -hmm. They work for lawyers, and they are legal nurse consultants, and they evaluate mm -hmm. um, legal cases, wow. and they make recommendations. Or, who knows, one day you could maybe work at a international <laughs> healthcare staffing company and help bring other international nurses in. Could be, right? yeah. Right? Uh, it, limitless opportunity yeah. in the U.S. Yeah. Limitless. Did you did you ever think that when you when, you know when you were a nurse that I, I'll call it a zag. I don't know if it really was, but when you were a nurse and move, you know, was it a big transition for you moving into not being bedside and doing what you do now? Yeah, it was big for me. I mean, I you know. I was a chief nursing officer at a hospital for many, many years, and I was accustomed to running the hospital, accustomed to leading a, a large team of nurses. And, you know, taking that and translating it into what we do um, was a big learning curve sure. for me. But I understand why um, the value that I can add to that, you yeah. know, because cause we have um, the answers. You know, we know what it looks like. We know what it feels like. We understand the regulations. You know, myself and our leaders that are our nurses in, in Avant and our educators, there's, there's, there's not a question that we can't answer as it relates to practicing nursing in the U.S. It's awesome. So we talked about the three big differences, mm -hmm. regulatory bodies, scope of practice, and the healthcare structures and payment systems. Mm -hmm. If... I'm a, a healthcare professional watching this outside of the U.S., and I want to get to the to the U.S. Yeah. Is there anything they could be doing today to to help navigate or or, or increase their knowledge in any of these areas? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I'll start with what you shouldn't do. Love so what you please shouldn't do. Do not think that what you see in the movies and television is nursing in the U.S. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. What you're telling me is. What's in the movies? I can't take it as gospel. No. Well, that's going to be a problem. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good I mean, to know. But but truly, I think that a lot of what you know when when you think about what people around the world have access to see about U.S. healthcare, Absolutely. a lot of it comes in entertainment. Sure. And entertainment is not reality. Yeah. And and so you know, it's nursing is um, it's a it's a hard job. Yeah. Um, but it's a job you do because you love. Um, it's a calling. A, truly a calling. Truly a calling. But the things that you can start doing now um, is, you know, going to professional um, sites like um, the ANA, the American Nurses Association, uh, review the ANA's scope and standards of nursing practice in the U.S. You can go to... Um, the specialty accrediting bodies that we have, like the um, American Nursing Credentialing Center, it's ANCC. Um, you can go to different um, professional groups, like um, if you're a psychiatric nurse like me, the American Psychiatric Nurses Association will tell you about what it's like to be a psychiatric nurse in the U.S. So, And a lot of those, those organizations, they have 
free resources. Oh, too. absolutely. Whether it yeah. just be an yeah. email newsletter yep. or, you know, join per, actually join membership, which sometimes has a cost, sometimes it doesn't. It varies, yeah. mm -hmm. right? But I think first opening up your 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 mind yeah. to to at least just starting to gather the information, right? That's the right. beauty about the, the, the time that we live in right now. Yeah. No shortage of information. Well, another thing I would encourage our nurses that are, that are around the world is in the United States, we have a lot of um, country-specific nursing professional groups. So we have the Philippine Nurses Association, with huge presence in the U.S., very strong group of nurses. Um, we even have like Caribbean Nurses Association. Hmm. We have um, there's a Kenyan Nurses Association. So I would I would look hmm. for nursing associations in the U.S. that are others from your country that have gone on the journey that you've gone on. And there's a lot of good resources yeah, out there. That's awesome. On that note, we're talking about resources and preparedness. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about how Avant helps you bridge that gap between the things that you know and some of these things that we talked about today. So we'll be right back. I am Reza Diama, a registered nurse from the Philippines. I have a timeline that I set in myself early in my nursing career. It's like I gave myself an ultimatum that at this certain age, I should be a USRN. That's when I decided to apply in Avant. And after that, with interviews and initial assessments, I was offered a contract. American dream for me is financial stability. Yes, I wanted professional growth, but it has always been to earn well and live well, not just for myself, but for my family. I wanted to provide the best for their future, and that to me is the American dream. I am so grateful with Avant and everyone in the team for their support and their guidance. And I am so excited to start my new journey here as a nurse in the U.S. and make a difference in the lives of my patients. Welcome back. We've talked similarities, we've talked differences, and now we're going to talk about how Avant prepares our nurses to go into the U.S. hospitals, healthcare facilities, um, so what are some of the key things that we do so that when you step foot in that hospital, in that healthcare facility, you're ready to go? Yeah. Well, it starts with getting a license. So we have um, a really great group of very talented educators that will work with you to learn how to pass the NCLEX, which is our national license exam. Um, so once you do that, um, we will transition you through to our clinical transitions program, which starts while you're in your home country. And so we have some distance learning packages that we'll, you'll go through. We actually have a really cool new thing that we're doing uh -oh. is called virtual simulation. So uh -huh. you will have an opportunity to practice as a U.S. nurse while you're still in your home country with one of your Avant educators. Wow, so that's cool. We'll take you through the paces, we'll run scenarios, you'll get to make decisions, and we'll give you feedback. We'll help you understand, you know, we wanna know <laughs> what you know, and we also wanna know where we can help you more. So these, these virtual scenarios really help because the nurse is actually delivering care to a patient wow. virtually. That's very cool. Yeah, and I think that's, that's good for you to know that, you know, the, the process doesn't need to just start once you're you're here right we yeah. can we're working on a lot of things actually before you even get to the u.s yeah. you know and one thing as we were talking about this a phrase that i i kept hearing you bring up that i think it's important that we share with with the audience is relationship driven oh yeah can you talk yeah talk a little bit about that well you know really the avant relationship starts at recruiting Right, you know, we build a relationship with you from the moment you first reach out to us to to join our program. Um, but I, you know, we pride ourselves in the way we care for our nurses, um, the the thought, the attention that we give. You know, and again, to your point, starting at home. We, you know, the Avant program starts early. And so you will have somebody that you talk to. You'll have somebody you get to know. You'll actually talk with educators 
that you will see face to face when you get here uh, to Orlando, it's Florida. It's a touching experience too. Yeah, I can't like I hear a lot of stories about oh. you know when the 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 people the Avant employees that you interact with and you finally get here and you meet them in person. They're so excited about uh, it's that. Very it's very emotional. So exciting. Yeah. The bonds, you know, that we, you know, a lot of times the relationships are run so deep with yes. us that once um, a nurse, you know, is done with Avant and has converted to be, you know, the core staff of the hospital, um, we still get emails. We get pictures of babies being born, weddings, houses that the nurses have built, and, and just exciting stuff. And we love being able to follow you across your uh, American dream. It's really what, what puts the wind in our sails. Yeah, fit is incredibly important. This is something that we talk about, uh, I think throughout the recruiting process, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it, it's a journey for us, yeah. right? Also, you know, we, I think a lot of our recruiters and a lot of our staff almost, you know, kind of live vicariously and, and, mm -hmm. and, and really are invested in your path, your journey, your success, your career, and then right. by extension, kind of your life in some cases. Uh, definitely. I mean, because for us, it's not just about the nurse. No. We understand the impact that we have, the, the children, the spouse, the next generation. 100%. You know, we, we're thinking <clears throat> out to grandchildren, you know, yeah. being here in the U.S., children going to college. I mean, it's there's so much <clears throat> that... We, we take pride in becoming an indelible part of a nurse's story and their family's story. And that's why when we talk about changing lives, that's not something that we say lightly. We no. take it incredibly seriously. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked about this aspect of the process starting mm -hmm. wherever you are. Um, that also includes kind of access to resources too. When they're yeah. when when yeah. you're a, a abroad in your in your home city, um, country, and then here. So, what are like some of the resources that we provide to Avant nurses when they're abroad, remote maybe, yeah. and then when they're here? So yeah, so we it does start you know when they're in their home country still. Um, we will once uh, successfully through NCLEX, we'll give you access to um, online learning platforms, um, self-paced. You can go through the library at your own pace. We'll give you general nursing modules, and we'll give you specialty modules based on the type of specialty you want to practice in. Um, you know, and and it'll be yours. But you'll also have opportunity to have tailored one-on-one -on -one sessions with an educator, an Avant educator, before you even get to the United States. And that's key. You know, I, I talked about earlier in this episode, like <clears throat> resources are out there, mm -hmm. but I think where this is important is that we have, as you've said, nurses who have been there, mm -hmm. done that. Yeah. And we also have entire departments, teams, people who are dedicated to making sure that the information is useful, is mm -hmm. accurate, is up to date, right? Correct. Because this stuff does change. And sometimes if you're just out there, you know, I'm going to buy this program or go to this yeah. program or do that, like you don't, you don't know that. Yeah. And we have entire teams dedicated to making sure the learning's up to date, the learning, you know, that it maybe even is... Uh, applicable to your learning style, right? Mm -hmm. That's where it's really helpful working with someone or having contact with someone. So it really is a key differentiator, um, the program we've built to just potentially going off and just buying something, right? right? right. This, is, oh, yeah. this is, you not only get that, you get a program that can help you, mm -hmm. you get the people who are going to help you actually get here. So oh, you're yeah. getting the best of both worlds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna make sure that that the nurse is successful and the nurse gets to the right practice location. And the extension of that, I think the last thing really maybe to, to talk to here is, uh, I mean, I guess I call it our learning lab. Yeah. Right. So toys. once you're here, so talk a little bit about oh, that. Oh, that's the fun part when you get to Orlando, mm -hmm. and you get to go into the skills lab. So we have simulation hospital rooms. Um, there's all sorts of cool technology. We, um, we have high fidelity simulation. And my favorite, we have artificial intelligence now. Um, but, but every bit of technology that the nurse will need to touch when they're 
orienting in the hospital, we have on site. And, and you'll have an opportunity to learn what a drug library is inside mm -hmm. of a smart pump. You'll get to be able to have hands on, touch it, feel it, um, program it. Um, all sorts of technology. What's it, what's it like to use a medication um, dispensing machine? You know, a lot of countries, um, they don't always have those. Yeah. And, and so we'll teach you barcode med administration. Hmm. And what does that look like? We'll give you access to an electronic medical record and you'll mm -hmm. know, learn what it's like to move from paper charting to electronic charting, which is where most of our hospitals are in the U.S. So lots of cool stuff that you'll be exposed to. Yeah, it's a... Uh I think it's kind of like a nurse's playground in there. I've been over there. Totally, I've, I've, yeah. I've toured the facility. It, it's got a lot of cool stuff over there. A lot of stuff that they said, Ross, please, please stop touching yeah. these things, you know, because I'm not qualified. They're very <laughs> expensive. They said, please, you know, that's going to come yeah. out of your paycheck if you break that. And I said, okay, I'm going to go away now. Uh, but it is amazing. It is really immersive. And honestly, it's critical to us that that stays up to date. Oh, yeah. Because... You know, we we work with you and with clients who we have relationships with to place you once you've completed our program. And so it is uh, it needs to be up to date. It yeah. needs to have the most current, uh, useful, valuable systems that are being used in the real world. Mm -hmm. This has been awesome, Adam. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you so yeah, much for great. taking the time. Is there anything that. Uh, we maybe missed in this conversation or anything else that, again, if you're sitting there watching this or listening to this, that an international healthcare professional candidate needs to know? I think the most important thing is um, to acknowledge what a, what a huge life-changing move that is. And just for the nurses to understand the deep respect we have for the stress that that causes. Um, but we have people to shepherd you through that'll be with you the whole way and you know if you stick with us and if you take our advice because we've done it thousands and thousands of times we will make sure that you get to where you are practicing safely and you're thriving awesome thank you adam thank you for joining us i really hope that you learned something uh, however you're whether you're watching this as a video or listening to it um you know tons of great information here if you want to learn even more about Avant Healthcare Professionals, be sure to go to our website, avanthealthcare.com. You can learn all kinds of stuff about our program, even more than we discussed today. You can read testimonials from nurses who have done this, right? Thousands and thousands of nurses over 20 years. You can read their testimonials. And also, you know, while you're on the website, maybe you should just also go ahead and apply. Thanks for listening. This has been Healthcare Heartbeat by Avant Healthcare Professionals, the leader in international healthcare staffing and recruitment, where we change the lives of healthcare professionals every day. To learn more about how our healthcare professionals can help your facility, visit avanthealthcare.com. And be sure to subscribe to this show wherever you get your podcasts.